Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Today we have a really weird but interesting deck to share with you all, a P.E.K.K.A. Hog Rider deck. Now I know it sounds crazy and weird, but trust me guys, it actually kind of works with the P.E.K.K.A. as a strong defensive tank killer and the Hog Rider as your primary win condition. Anyways, there's the deck, no legendary cards needed. Let's go ahead and take a look at a replay, then we'll finish off with some live battles. Alright, here we go guys, facing off against a member of the Giants crew. And living up to his name, he's rocking a Royal Giant, guys. Now, I know he is a level 10, but he's rocking that classic level 12 Royal Giant, which is honestly okay by me, because we have the big P.E.K.K.A., the Mama P.E.K.K.A., guys, and she packs a punch. The P.E.K.K.A. is a really strong, heavy tank killer to kill stuff like Royal Giants, Giants, Golems, stuff like that. So he's setting up a push here on the left hand side with the RG. Now even though the P.E.K.K.A. is a strong tank killer, there is a bit of a level difference with the level 5 P.E.K.K.A. versus level 12 Barbarians and 12 RG. Uh, especially with the Ice Wizard in the back slowing the P.E.K.K.A. down, it will take quite a bit of time for the P.E.K.K.A. to kill the RG. So I ended up using the Cannon Zap combo to destruct the Royal Giant, preventing a ton of damage to my tower. And we aren't able to set up the uh, P.E.K.K.A. on a counter push. And to be honest guys, the P.E.K.K.A. isn't a primary win condition in this strategy. For the most part, your Hog Rider is your main win condition. You want to keep the P.E.K.K.A. primarily as a defensive card, something to quickly kill those heavy tanks like Giants, Royal Giants, Golems, and stuff like that, and then afterwards convert it to a counter push to potentially tank and support your Hog Rider. So, he's coming in here with a naked Royal Giant this time, and since there's no Barbarians or Ice Golem to distract the P.E.K.K.A., I'm not going to use the cannon, just the P.E.K.K.A. by itself, and then set up a counter push, and he has to decide which line he wants to defend, guys. And that's what I mean about doing a defensive P.E.K.K.A. to kill their tank, and then setting up a counter push afterwards. Because we used the P.E.K.K.A. to counter his Royal Giant, he was forced to decide which line to defend. Does he want to stop my Hog Rider, or does he want to stop my P.E.K.K.A.? He ended up choosing to stop the P.E.K.K.A., and as a result, we were able to finish off the tower on the right-hand side, with a Hog Rider and one Lone Archer, I believe. So now we have a one crown lead here so far. His King Tower is sitting at 3,300 health. Looking back at it in this replay, I probably could have went more aggressive for the three crown victory, um, but it didn't end up going for the three crown. I just played defense and held on for the one crown. Now, as soon as he started doing the slow push with the minions further back there, I was expecting a Royal Giant push. So I had the P.E.K.K.A. ready to go, anticipating the Royal Giant, we take it out with an, without any damage done to our tower on the right hand side. Meanwhile, use the Ice Golem to distract the Musketeer on the left hand side. And overall, things are going pretty good here so far. So now there's 30 seconds left. We got a P.E.K.K.A. and two Archers going back there. Gonna go ahead and just use a P.E.K.K.A. to distract the Barbarians as well as the Musketeer. Now normally, a level 5 P.E.K.K.A. will take two shots to finish off a level 12 Barbarian. But with the help of the Poison Spell as well as the Crown Tower, it only needs one shot. And that's one of the great reasons I love using a Poison Spell in this deck versus other spells like a fireball is because the poison spell is persistent and really helps get rid of that level disadvantage versus barbarians and here we are guys 372 health left on my tower two seconds left as you can see his king tower is at 1200 health so i probably could have went for the three crown victory but we ended up just holding on for the one crown there you go guys let's go ahead and do some live battles here all right here we go guys let's see who we can face off against here fernando fernand fernandinho my bad, let's see here. Alrighty, decent starting hand. If he, does a, if he does an expensive push, a beatdown push, we'll go ahead and do P.E.K.K.A. Otherwise, we're going to split up some archers. So let's do P.E.K.K.A. to counter the RG, guys. This is like my, th I think my third Royal Giant battle in a row. Oh, guys, I don't know anymore. <laughs> Alright, so let's go archers to kill the RG faster. Because a P.E.K.K.A. is a good counter, but you got to keep in mind, guys, that a level 5 packet is balanced against a level 10 Royal Giant. So, just to kind of put it in perspective here, I would need a level 7 Pekka just to have a balanced fight against that Royal Giant right there. So, uh, he's going to go ahead and just zap the Pekka by itself. I'm kind of okay with it because we're going to go ahead and do, um, apparently, Hog Rider. I thought I had minions in my finger there, but I guess not. Uh, so, the Hog Rider will get one smack and then we'll kill the Bomber. Now, you gotta be really careful against these Royal Giant decks. Even though the P.E.K.K.A. is a strong counter, often they can outcycle you because P.E.K.K.A. is 7, Royal Giant is 6, I believe. So, um, you gotta keep that in mind. So, we're gonna wait a second here to see what he does. Anything? 
Uh, let's go ahead and do a... I don't want to do P.E.K.K.A on the left-hand line. He might switch... Now we'll do P.E.K.K.A right here. To kill the RG. And then we'll do a Ice Golem up front to set up a counter push. Because, uh... Yeah, so... Come on, P Ice Golem tank for the P.E.K.K.A.R. Yes! Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Poison going down right here. Kill the minions if he drops them. Kill the Barbarians as well. Yes, thank you. That's why I love the Poison Spell, because... The P.E.K.K.A can now one-shot those Barbarians. Because typically a P.E.K.K.A at equal level to Barbs can one-shot them, but with a level 5 P.E.K.K.A versus level 11 Barbarians, it takes two shots, which I've already mentioned before. So the Poison Spell really does help uh, take that out or prevent that. So let's go with a quick Hogwarts right here to keep the pressure up. Uh, because I know his Barbarians are out of rotation, so his only answer is the Bomber. Now does he... S yeah, okay, he's going to do that lane. So let's go uh, Cannon, Minions here. And we'll Ice Golem in the back in case he does a Wizard. Yes, there we go. Predicting that wizard perfectly. Warlord Giant going down. Let's see here. I, I just want to, kind of want to play defense here for the final 30 seconds or so. So Pekka going down that lane. So Archer's in the back to distract the Miner. There we go. He might Fireball though. Nope, no Fireball. We good there, guys. We good there. So, 20 seconds left. Let's just go ahead and drop down a Poison here to kill all this Jazz. Minions here as well. Barbarian should go down soon. We'll go on Ice Golem to protect the Archer a bit. There we go. I'm just playing defense here, guys. Just distracting for the final couple of seconds. Okay, cannon right there. Just to distract. Archers to distract further. And I think we're good to go, guys. Zap. Good game to my friend Fernandino there. Good game indeed. <laughs> Plus 31 trophies, guys. Let's go ahead and do one more to finish the video. One more to finish the video off. So, Scott MC. I'm assuming that those sevens are T's. So Scott MC or is Sko 77 MC, one of the two. So Sko, what do you got for me, Mr. Sko? We'll do some Ice Golem. Oh, Baloo, nice. Come on. Yes, Ice Golem tank, 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 yes. Thank you, Ice Golem. Oh, no. No. Oh. Come on, wake up, wake up, wake up. Yes, it's dead. All right, it's dead. It's dead, guys. Let's do a counter push right here. I don't know. Oh, that was risky, guys. Come on, Arch. Oh, whoa. Watch this, guys. Boom. My poor little level 9 hog rider just gets annihilated by those 12 barbarians, guys. Annihilated. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Kill the miner, please. Kill the miner, please. Thank you. The cannon was more of a desperation move there, because I should have saved it to distract the balloon. Nonetheless, though, we're doing okay. I don't know. I don't see anything yet that the P.E.K.K.A is a good card for. The P.E.K.K.A is a real strong tank killer, but anything else... Uh, it's gonna struggle against. It's not really a good killer for the miner. There we go. We can kill the Pekka or the Hog Rider with it. Boom. And some more boom. There we go, guys. Lots of boom right there. And I kind of want to do minions to support this uh, Pekka right there. Does he have Barbarians back in his hand? He's got Fire Spirits. We'll do Artress. Zap the Goblin Gang. Boom. Come on, get to the Tower Pekka, please. I know it doesn't usually happen, but uh, no, I won't. Not with those level 12 Barbarians. As you can see, the Pekka just goes down super fast. Super fast, but now we should be able to do a Ice Golem Hog Rider push because his barbs are out of rotation. So I want to do Ice Golem Hog Rider right here. Keep the pressure high. What has he got now? Wizard, okay, Wizard. I'm fine with the Wizard because we should get some decent damage done with that uh, Hog Rider there, but... Him having a balloon really throws a curveball at us right there because I was not prepared for that. Alrighty, so kill the wizard. Thank you. Let's split up some archers here. Minions. Where's your fire spirits? We'll, we'll, we'll ice golem that. Kill it, kill it. Don't freeze us, bro. Yes. No freeze us. No freeze us, guys. Let's poison this for killing of the goblins. Yes, sir. Quick hog rider. He's going to do barbarians into the poison, I believe. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Poison should do a bit of work. Then we'll go ahead and do archers back here. Cannon up here. Predicting the placement of that miner perfectly, guys. Let's go here, minions. I just go him to take out the fire spirits. And a quick hog rider counter push, guys. Keep the pressure high. And the hog rider is your main win condition with this deck for sure. With the secondary win condition being um, the P.E.K.K.A. So like I said, the P.E.K.K.A. is more of a defensive card. Hog rider is your main primary win condition. We'll distract the bar... Oh, he rage quit, guys. He rage quit. Rest in place, go 7-7. Rest in peace, Mr. Sko up top there. So good game to my friend up top there. We'll see how many trophies we have over here. And we have plus 30, guys. And a golden chest, man. And a golden chest.
Boom, gold. Alright, let's go ahead and do one more to finish the video. Oh, level 12, guys. This deck is good. I like it. I've been practicing it all morning. I love this deck so far. Um, but the one thing I will say, big disclaimer, level disadvantages are really felt with this deck. There are certain decks that really do get over the level disadvantages. This is one of the ones that do suffer a bit because the level 5 P.E.K.K.A. is a huge investment for 70 Elixir and it dies super fast against higher level cards. Like on ladder, a lot of people have like level 12 Barbarians and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, so the P.E.K.K.A. is definitely one of those cards that suffers from the level di uh, disadvantage. So let's go Hog Rider here, guys. Keep the pressure high. Just the way I like it. Kill those archers, please. Yes. Let's keep the pressure high, guys. Just the way I like it, like I said before. Come on, yes, do the archers get there? Oh, yes, kill the guy, guy, boom. Yes, archers alive. Tower should be dead here very shortly. Boom. So much boomage, guys. There we go. Okay, so. Beer Baron Bill. What an interesting name, guys. Beer. He is the Baron of the beer. Beer Baron Bill. Oh, let's see here. I don't know what his deck is, though. Is Rocket Cycle his win condition? I had no idea what his, like... I think Rocket Cycle is his win condition, guys. I think that is. Is it just defense Rocket Cycle? Uh, okay, so let's do this. Those barbs are going to take out my tower easily. Easily. Dead tower. Look how much damage these barbs do, guys. Boom! But we should hopefully be able to do a counter push right here. Okay, Archers here. Poison here. Where's your Goblin Gang? Where's your Goblin Gang? Okay, Archers. Alright, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Where's the Goblin Gang? Pekka, get to the tower. Oh, yes, Pekka's on the tower. That's what you get, guy. That's what you get, Mr. Beer Baron, for using so many rockets against me. You think you can rock those rockets? No, sir. I won't allow it. Alright, so we got a two crown lead here so far. My tower's at 300 health because of Barb Elite Barb's just destroying me. Let's go Naked Hog Rider. See what he does here. I think his Tesla is out of rotation. We'll zap the Goblin Gang. Boom! Goblin Gang is dead, guys. Not a very strong gang, if you ask me. And then we're going to go ahead and do a P.E.K.K.A. on this lane. And then we'll use the E... Uh, oh, no! Yes, thank you. Thank you, Ice Golem, pulling one of those back. Uh, I always forget that. Uh, in case you guys were wondering what happened there. When you have a... When no towers are down, I tap right here for some stupid reason. This is where I tap to place cards. Uh, so I wanted to use the ice golem there, but I tapped there and I forgot I had that tower the towers down already and it used it up there But right here, uh, we're gonna fix that mistake and uh, just go ahead and pull this barbarian over with this And we'll do minions here and then we're gonna go in for the kill here for the three crown guys Give me that sweet sweet three crown, please be your baron bill No three crown, but we do got the two crown victory for our uh, crown chest and our clan chest Anyways guys, that's gonna be the end of the video plus 29 trophies I will take all of those trophies, Beer Baron. Thank you. Crown chest to end the video off. Give me a legendary, please. I want that. It feels dark in here. Is it dark? Has it been dark the whole video? Can I turn up my... All right. Fixed, guys. Sorry. We're fixing it at the end of the video, but it... my face is dark today, guys. Uh, James Goblin Gang. Oh, yes. Furnace. I really want to get that level 9 because I want to use the furnace in so many different decks, but it's so hard to use with a one level difference. Come on, give me the Tesla! Oh, Rage Bell. Alright, I guess I'll be happy for what I get, but I would have preferred a Goblin Barrel or a Bowler. Anyways, guys, there's the deck one more time if you want to go ahead and copy it. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for some more Clash Royale content. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We will see you in the next one.